guys, welcome to an episode of Eat Book Vlogs. I'm John. I'm Brenda. And you remember we went on a date last time in Malaysia, right? Mm -hmm. Are you ready, Brenda, to take our relationship to the next level? No, not I really. don't care whether you're ready or not, okay, but do you like bubble tea? I love bubble tea. How about I take you on a mega bubble tea date? <gasps> Sounds good. Tell what's over. <laughs> Let's go. Alright guys, so now we're here at Mount Austin and we actually counted along this stretch of road there are over 20 different bubble tea stores. I don't think we have the space to drink everything but let's see if we can find any interesting ones to try. Okay, actually right, the first shop that caught our eye uh, is this shop called Ai Meong It's a very cute uh, cow logo and it kind of reminds you of Taiwan. I love brown sugar and then uh, their top one uh, is some brown sugar bubble milk. Okay, so actually we just found a very interesting thing, right? Mm. Is that right? Apparently, for, to drink the bubble milk, you're supposed to take a photo, then you share, then by that time, right, the cold milk will have like cooled the curls down. So it's like a perfect like QQ consistency. Yeah, so you'll get the very soft QQ texture that yeah. you like for both. So all it takes is just one share. And that's what you should do. Like, share and subscribe and watch our other videos over here. <laughs> Okay, so what we have here is I Milky's brown sugar bubble milk. Mm -hmm. Let me learn you some uh, bubble tea knowledge, okay? <laughs> In Taiwan, okay, when they make bubble tea, right? Mm. They, have a, they have a different type of pearls. Mm. There is like the small, small kind, there's a the normal kind, and there's this chewy kind called Kuo Pa. This is Kuo Pa. What, what I like about this, right, is that the milk is not sweet at all. So the brown sugar pearls really complement mm. the milk very, very well. So this one, they just use fresh milk. Don't know what milk, probably is a cow because the logo is a cow. <laughs> but it's nice. So we rate I Milky brown sugar barber milk. 8 upon 10. Yes. Shall we go to the next store? Let's go. We're now at our second store, Hola Tea. Hola <laughs> Tea! And we're gonna try the double cheese milk foam. And I like how this shop looks a bit like something from Harry Potter. Ah. Maybe bit. it's magic. Let's Maybe go. the tea is magic. We'll find out when you get oh, it. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so what we have here is our Hola Tea Double Cheese Milk Foam. On the top right, it has like two types of sprinkles which we are guessing is uh, peanut and... Black sesame. Black sesame. Mm -hmm. And then there's milk and then your typical uh, brown sugar coating on the sides. I a bit want to do something else. I feel like right, this drink right, you start mm. out with a little bit of the cheese taste right. As you go in, you sip a bit of the milk. It gives you the brown sugar milk taste. And then when all the flavours come together, it becomes like tang yuan. Mm. And I'm quite shocked that such oriental flavours like peanut and sesame that you usually find in like, you know, old Chinese desserts mm. wow, work so nice well eh? for bubble tea. And the peanut and the black sesame, right, adds a very nice crunch also. I think the right way to drink is the... Wait, just because it's sweeter and gimmickier than the previous one, right? I'm going to rate this higher. Mm. It's going to be an 8.5 yeah. for me. Same. It's going to be an 8.5 for me as well. Mm. It's something I'll definitely come back to buy. Alright ladies and gentlemen, so we are here at Green Tea. Bre Brenda has helped us uh, confirm that it's called Kuri. We are trying the Taro Milk Shed Smoothie. Have you taro heard of a Taro Milk Shed, Shed, Shed Smoothie? S-H-A-D. Shed. Shed. Shall we go and try it? Yeah. <laughs> This is our taro what? Taro milk shed smoothie. And the thing about it is that the drink is so thickly purple, right? That I thought this was like a design on the cup, but it's not. Ladies first. Wow, gentle man, this one. Gentle and manly. How's <laughs> 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 the drink? The taro beats at the bottom. Mm. It's like a paste. But I can tell that it's made from fresh taro because yeah. like the fibres and the little chunks are still in the drink. So I guess this is a little bit different from what you expect from bubble tea because there's mm. no pearls, right? Instead, it has like a taro topping which you taro can see at the bottom. Beats, but that being said, personally, I am not a fan of taro. <gasps> I am a fan of taro. And mm. like, if you are a fan of taro, you should come and try this. Previously, just now the three layers look very cow, right? But mm. when you mix together and you drink, it's very light and refreshing. Okay, so uh, because I'm not a fan of taro, I don't really want to rate this later I buy yours, right? So, Brenda, what's your rating? I will rate this 8.5. Mm. Yeah, as a taro lover. Yeah, because the taro taste is really strong. Mm. And it's more fragrant than a lot of taro drinks I've had in Singapore. Oh. So, 8.5 for me. Okay, so we're at our next stop. It's called... Don't... <laughs> Brenda wants to shout, so don't yell at me! <laughs> As we cringe from secondhand embarrassment, what are we going to order here? We are going to order the roast milk tea. Like bandung ah? Maybe. We buy, then we know. This is our roast milk tea from Don't Yell At Me. It feels very fragile. I'm just going to give you a little bit of a jostle just to see how fragile. You see the layers can like... Mm. Oh, do you see that? Oh, oh it's like art 
Yeah. Okay, now it is the consistency of your typical milk tea. Mm. But just now, right, based on what we observe, the top seems to be the tea portion, mm -hmm. followed by a layer of what I would assume is milk. Mm. And then below, right, is the rose, yes. the rose syrup. I think with the with the rose syrup and the tea mixed with the sugar, right, there's definitely a little bit of sweetness. Mm. But the sweetness is actually paired with the fragrance that comes from the rose syrup. I'm a rated 8.5 out of 10. Same, 8.5 for me as well. I don't see how this is the same as the taro, but I highly recommend it because I think this is a little mm. bit of a local twist. Huh? Mm. It's like two of our local drinks, bandung and teping mixed mm. together. Yeah, and, and this was the baby. And I think you all should order with the toppings just to give it a go, mm. you know, who knows. We are here at our fifth stop, the Black Wheel. <laughs> see, I'm the Black Wheel. Yes. Why are you so tickled? Why are we here to try? We're here to try the Black Wheel Avocado no. Milk Milk Brown Sugar. <laughs> What's the correct name? Brown Sugar. We're here to try. We are here to try the brown sugar black whale avocado milk. That's right. right. You got it on the first try. <laughs> this is our brown sugar black whale avocado milk. Yeah, which okay. arguably sometimes sounds like a rap whenever we have to say it. <laughs> uh, as you can see, our uh, avocado shake is on top. Mm -hmm. And then below is what you expect from your typical milk and brown sugar. I don't know why, but I taste a bit of Milo inside. Mm. This is actually a surprising combo that works together. I think because of the virtue of brown sugar being a little bit burnt and caramelised, so it adds that extra, I think that's where you detect that like Milo yeah. flavour because it's a little bit burnt flavour. Mm. You can really taste the avocado, la. it's not thick. You know? Yeah, it feels very filling. Yeah. So definitely if you have a small appetite, order the smaller cup. But then yeah. again, you only got one size, so uh, plot twist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think if you are someone who prefers lighter, more refreshing drinks, then I don't think this will be your choice. But if you like super gao, super thick drinks, then you can try this out. Like me, I, I like. For me, this is also an 8.5. For me, it will be a 7.5. Hey, how can this do to your taro? Hey, this one is a bit too gao for me. We are here at our next location, okay, it's Tiang Jin Ling, mm -hmm. which literally translates to uh, generous orders, but they are called the Monarch Tea. Mm -hmm. And we're here to try... The Chu Ge Liang Milkshake. Chu Ge Liang Milkshake, because we cannot pronounce what the Chinese word for yeah. milkshake is. Uh -huh. But you all know who's Chu Ge Liang, right? You don't know, ah? Uh? I know! You sure you know? I know! <laughs> and this is our <laughs> Chu Ge Liang Milkshake. So first, right, mm. first look, right, straight away, right, I'm quite excited for this because this looks thick. And this looks like a Oreo milkshake, actually. Yeah, might have a base of vanilla. So honestly, mm. right, this is what the only sort of bubble tea that we have, right. We have absolutely no idea what's going to be inside. Okay, and the sticker here says golden pearl, so I'm guessing it's like the the little bit translucent yellowish pearls that we're used to in Singapore. Mm. This one is legit like eating tang yuan. Mm. Because the previous sauce, right, is like brown sugar pearls. Mm. So the brown sugar taste really overpowers the drink. And this is more like an ice blend kind of like mm. drink. It somehow reminds me of the three ones you remember that you mix with even more milk and ice. This is what you get. The only only flavour I'm getting is the black sesame. So it's definitely like a Tang Yuan smoothie. Mm. You know what I mean? I love it so much. This is my 9. 9.5 for me. Wow! No wonder Zhu Ge Liang is so smart. And because you drink, he drink this. Remember you want? You want, so don't give you. <laughs> We are now at Milky Farm and this place just screams Holland to me. You see yeah, on top here like QC QC like stickers. Mm. Over here I direct you to the windmill which is uh, like Brenda said earlier Holland Village. This place just looks like <laughs> So we're gonna get their papaya, papaya milk, which I believe is actually one of their like specialties. Mm -hmm. Ta-da! What we have here is our Mu Kuan Yu Night Papaya Milk. If you're not a fan of bubble tea or you prefer healthier options, then you can come for this papaya milk. And actually, this shop has other like healthier choices as well, like honeydew mm. milk, watermelon milk, and so much more. And like honestly, I feel like this is not a drink that I would order. If I were to say I come from a Korean barbecue or hot pot session and I want something that's a little bit lighter. Yes. The sweetness is very thin. Mm. And you can tell that it comes from the papaya itself. Another 8 for me because I feel that it's nice. I think it's like an 8 for me as well. Because mm. it's something very simple, very foolproof. La. You can't yeah. go wrong with papaya milk. Commercial break. <laughs> the good thing about this place wow. is that you can order other assorted Taiwanese snacks like fried chicken. They also have fries, uh, sweet potato fries. Mm. Oh, nice. so good. Alright guys, so we're at our next place here. As you can see, this is like a glass house container kind of mm -hmm. concept, you know, right behind us. It's called Muka. Ooh. And what are we gonna order here? We are gonna order the Taro, black rice, banana milk. If 
might not be immediately obvious, but there are four main ingredients in this. Taro. Black like rice. rice banana, banana. And milk. milk. Right off the bat, right, it gives me a little bit of an otsu vibe. You know the Yeah, otsu? pulau hitam. Yes, yeah. pulau hitam. Pulau. <laughs> pulau hitam. I'm going to try to aim the O. Oh no! Oh no! Okay lah. Fail. 100% banana milk. And then the black rice, right, I can really taste the roasted taste. A bit like jemai cha. I feel that, right, because of the pearls and the taro mm. together, right, it kind of feels a little bit like, like bobo cha cha. Mm. For me, I think I would prefer it not to have banana at all. Mm. I think that's when the black rice and the pearls can really stand out. For this drink, the banana overpowers it a little bit. Mm. Right now, it's about 7.8. 7.8? Where does 0 0.2 go? Okay, so 8 now. I feel like this is the type of drink, right, that gets better. I think it will be a 7 for me. Mm. Cause just because I'm not a fan of banana flavoured drinks. And honestly, right, I think this drink is quite heavy. Not something you would quickly drink after a big meal. Because I feel that all the different ingredients, the carbohydrates, yeah. all the stuffy stuff, right? It's gonna make it sit very heavily in your stomach. Yeah. And like, can I give a shout out to the aesthetics of this place? Mm. It's a very quaint glass house like yeah, bubble tea cafe. Okay, now we are at uh, <laughs> Royalty, right? Royalty, this uh, little black store behind here. And we're gonna go for one, for one of their classics, which yes. is. The Royal Coco Cheese Tea. Sounds delicious, let's go. He cannot already, but let's go. What I cannot, you cannot. See his stomach. <laughs> See her top behind crop top. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this is the Royal Coco Cheese Tea. Yeah. Looks so aras. So aras. <laughs> and you see that on top, right? They also put a bit of, I believe, is that matcha? Looks like Some it. Some green matcha powder just went across just the garnish. Mm. And I love how much cheese there is. Yes. Because I'm a sucker for cheese. I'm a sucker for cheese. So big. Can you see if I put my face next to it? It's the freaking length. Is like it the cup big or is it her face big? So uh, if you're a lover of cheese like me. I don't mind. Hey, wait. It. What? There's something on top that's a bit different. Oh my god. You see the top here? I thought these this little flakes are cheese, right? Mm. But it's not. It's I not think that. it's coconut. Honestly, right, I feel that this one right, is actually a good combination for me. The cocoa is like sweet, mm. but it's not the overly sweet until it becomes like chocolate water kind mm. of right? And then on the top, right, when the cheese adds a little bit of a salty flavour, wow, mm. comes there perfectly. Okay, for me, this is a 9. I just like it's it that much because there's so much cheese. Mm. It's an 8 for me. And also, the size of this is super big compared yeah. to the rest that we've tried. Yeah. So it's super worth it. Very generous with the cheese. We are here at our last location. It's my favourite shop name because from far it looks like Fenty. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's pronounced Panty. We are here to try the strawberry yogurt Si Ji Chun Tea. Strawberry yogurt Si Ji Chun Tea. Let's right. go! <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, this is our very last cup of bubble tea today. Uh, technically there are no bubbles, a very last cup of drink. Strawberry yogurt si ti chun tea. Mm. So you see, uh, this one is still split into different distinct layers. No? So the top, right, you see this white white part. Typically you think it's cream cheese, mm. but this one is actually yogurt. Why got a big opening on the top? <gasps> you can drink it macchiato style. Macchiato chow chow. Because it's... It's meant to be mixed, John! Macchiato. Do you see that? In one straw full, right, like all the strawberry bits all come mm. up. Real strawberries in there for sure. The sweetness for this is just right. Then the strawberry is a bit tart. Mm. So it cuts into the sweetness very nicely. The yogurt, right, actually gives it a little bit of that sour, mm. yogurty taste that mm. is very, very, very nice. So definitely it's not strawberry yogurt, right? It's your default yogurt flavor. But one thing that baffles me is that there's no tea. I don't taste the tea. Yeah. Mm. Every mouthful, right, you can really like get a lot of strawberry. Unlike outside, sometimes some drinks they give like artificial strawberry puree. Okay, Brenda, so you are the strawberry lover. What's mm. your verdict? My verdict is 8.5. Same for me because it's mm. somewhere in between. But like, I'm a little bit let down by the fact that there's no tea taste. I love this because it tastes like the liquid version of a strawberry cheesecake. Nantau, that's all the thing we need to drink today? Is it? What? Is it? What? Huh? Did we do 20? Huh? Brenda, what's your favourite drink from this trip? My favourite is the drink from the Monarch. The two ke liang milkshake. Yes. Same. What's your favourite thing about it? The oriental taste right, of the black sesame really blended well with like the milk tea and the pearls. Mm. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So one interesting thing about all the different bubble tea shops here actually also is that they have all different different kind of concepts. We have yeah. uh, one that we just came from which is the pan tea right, yeah. or pan tea. 
It is like a space yeah. theme. Yeah. There, there was even like farms. You have glass house. Mm. Container concept. And like all these themes are things that you can't find in Singapore. Because right. in Singapore, all the bubble tea shops are like grab and go. You can't sit down, yes. have a chat with your friends, take photos, you know. Yeah, honestly, I feel that all the shops that we've been to here, so much chill vibes. It mm. kind of makes us feel like we're on holiday even though yeah. we're here filming an episode. Mm. And I highly, highly recommend that you come down with your friends, with your loved ones, you know. Come and enjoy a little bit. Thank you for watching this episode of Eat Book Vlogs. If you like this video, you can watch our other videos over there. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye! Bye. Look at our food baby. Boba baby.